YouTube, what's going on? Chidi Delibe, back with another video. I have been seeing these things about the whole walk away movement. I find it quite interesting hearing different people's testimonies, but I want to take you kind of in a, in a different route, I guess. I'm not sure how many videos I've seen on this, but as a Christian, which I am, I don't understand how you could be a part of the Democrat Party. At least in regards to what the Democrat Party stands for, their platform. Now, I understand anytime this comes up, you know, there's always a discussion amongst people, Democrats or Republicans. Oh, how can you be? The Democrats will be like, how dare you judge my Christianity? You know, you can be a Democrat and a Christian at the same time, which is true. All right. But I'm not talking about how can you be a, uh, a Democrat and a Christian? I'm talking about how can you hold to the Democrat Party platform and be a Christian? That's a totally different thing because a Democrat can believe whatever the heck they want to believe. You can be a Democrat and still be pro-life. You can be, be a Democrat and actually be uh, pro-low taxes, but you cannot be a Democrat and sit here and disagree with the Democrat Party platform. Because if you disagree with the Democrat Party platform, then you ought not be a Democrat. It's pretty simple. Don't register as a Democrat if you don't believe the Democrat Party platform. So, as a Christian, the reason, one of the reasons, and we can go down many of them, why as a Christian, I became a Christian back in 2008, as a Christian, I don't understand how you can hold to the Democrat Party platform. I don't see why you still want to be registered as a Democrat based on what the party platform is. Well, what's in the party platform? Let's just go through some key items. Well, one of the key items in the Democrat Party platform, talking about in 2018, is you can abort your baby at any point in time during the pregnancy. We're not talking about up to 20 weeks not talking up to 16 weeks, 12 weeks, whatever. The current Democrat Party platform is abortion on demand. So if you want to have a late-term abortion, you want to have a partial birth abortion, you want the baby dangling out the vagina, and then you just sit there, you stab it in his head and suck his brains out at eight months and 28 days, Democrat Party platform is totally fine with that. Ask somebody high up in the Democrat Party, you know, what is your limitation on on abortion? And they will tell you, don't have a limitation on abortion. That's a woman's right to choose. I'm all about women's reproductive rights. Which I that that phrase just incenses me. There is no reproduction going on. If you if you if you're all for abortion, there is no reproduction. There is just destruction. We have to be honest with our words. So that just, just as a Christian alone, I don't want to be registered a part of the Democrat Party and their platform because you don't tolerate and you don't celebrate life. Jesus Christ says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, John 14, 6. So I don't even understand how you can want to be affiliated with the Democrat Party and their platform just on life. Is there anything more important than life? Forget, at this point, taxes. Forget free speech. Life. You don't even get taxes and free speech if you're not alive. Anyways. So, you got abortion. Then you got sexuality. I know these are social issues, but just sexuality. The Democrat Party, as it currently stands, if you are a biological male, 250 pounds, 6 foot 4, whatever. I'm talking about big man but in your mind you feel that you are a woman and you are a woman at birth you've always been a woman and you are a woman trapped in a big old man's body if that's what you believe according to the democrat party platform you are a woman doesn't matter if your dna says all these genetic markers show clearly that you are a biological male it doesn't matter if the physical characteristics of your body show clearly that you are a biological male. According to the Democrat Party platform, if you feel you're a woman, 
you're a woman. This is prior to you even transitioning, doing any form of body mutilation and transition, whatever you want to call it. If you feel you're a woman, according to the Democrat Party platform, you are a woman. Well, that's a Christian. Jesus says in the beginning, God made them male and female. Matthew 19, straight up, two options, two genders, male, female. Therefore, as a Christian, I should have some reservations about this Democrat Party platform on that. The Democrat Party platform is all about fair taxation or fair, everybody paying their fair share. That's socialism. Jesus was not a socialist. There is nowhere in the scriptures where you will find Jesus talking about socialism, advocating for socialism. You can talk to me about Acts chapter 2 where all the saints in the beginning of the church, where all the saints came together, they sold their houses, they pulled their money together, and they gave to those who were in need. Special time. It was a special time in the first century. It was the church in need. But we still see wealthy people in the church, people that actually own homes in the church. Not everybody was selling their homes. It was a special point, special case. I just, as a Christian, there's so many things that go against Christianity according to the Democrat Party platform. The Democrat Party was a party of slavery. The Democrat Party was a party of the KKK, the party of Jim Crow laws, the party of black codes, the party of separate but equal, the party of Dred Scott. You can say the Democrat Party platform has changed, but that's still your history. You can't wipe that away. You'll never hear that kind of history about the Republican Party. Ever. You will find the Republican Party with the history of the 13th Amendment, the party of the 14th Amendment, the party of pushing for and giving more substance to the passing of the Civil Rights Act and the Voter Act. I'm just saying. One of the reasons why I had to, I was a registered Democrat, didn't really think about why I was being a Democrat, but I was registered to the Democrat Party. But once I became a Christian, even more so, it made no kind of sense how I could be registered and therefore affiliated to the Democrat Party. Once again, you can be a Christian and be a Democrat. I'm not saying that's impossible. I'm not saying you can be. I'm just saying, I don't know, after thinking about it, how you could actually sit there and be okay with it. Really, on major issues of life and marriage, just on that, off top alone, I don't understand how you can justify it. When you see people who are speaking freely on the streets and you find people who find it offensive and resort to violence, intimidation and violence to try and stop that speech, which party are they normally affiliated with? You already know it is the Democrat Party or people affiliated with the Democrat Party who will violently try to stop those who speak on things to which they disagree. Are you okay with that as a Christian? Is that what we see Jesus doing? Fighting and scrapping with people who spoke things to whom he disagreed with? Of course we don't. But once again, this is the Democrat Party platform. Is the Democrat Party platform, are they truly for free speech? No, they're for agreed speech. As I always say, the Democrat Party is not for free speech. They are for agreed speech. As long as you agree with us and you speak like us, then you're okay. Until you decide that for some odd reason you're going to speak things that we don't agree with, now that's no longer tolerable speech. It's no longer accepted speech, and we will shut you down. And if it includes violence, well, hey, sometimes you have to have a violent resistance against people who are wrong. Because, of course, if you're speaking things that are wrong, you must be a Nazi. You must be a racist, so you got to punch the Nazi. This is the Democrat Party. This is their platform. I mean... I, just, I would just like, if you're a Christian and you're watching this video, 
honestly give me a comment in the box below and just let me know how do you justify and I'm serious how do you justify being a Democrat scrolling through the Democrat Party platform and all the, that things that the Democrat Party platform states how do you justify being a Christian and still being able to harmonize those two things your Christian principles and the Democrat Party platform how do those harmonize together please explain it to me I'm not trying to condemn anybody I'm not trying to say hey you're a Democrat therefore you're going to hell don't even let's not even discuss it I'm not saying that I'm just saying justify it please explain it to me I'm fair-minded like that I'm willing to I'm willing to hear people's case but I've thought over it quite well and quite long and I don't I don't see how those things how those things can come together but those are just my thoughts man those are just my simple thoughts simple reasoning on why I had to walk away way back in 2008 and there's nothing about the Democrat Party oh throw this out there real quick too back in 2012 I remember during the election I remember I think it was in North Carolina where they had their Democrat National Convention and they slyly took references of God out of the Democrat Party platform and news media got wind of it because people of course were reading these platforms and seeing that the platform didn't mention God anymore even though it's like at the Democrat Party as if they give a hoot about what God is saying or what 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 the Bible says so just their mention of it is just more it's vanity but nonetheless they took it out so then I remember Antonio Villaraigosa, of all people, the former mayor of Los Angeles, the city in which I live in, was down on the podium, and they were going to vote on adding, basically saying, we're going to put God back in the party platform. We're going to vote and put it before the delegates here at the National Convention. And he said, you know, how many people, yay or nay, we're going to put... Who wants to vote to put God back in the party? I'm telling you, you can watch the video on YouTube. It was about two-third no's, one-third yays. So, of course, that doesn't look good. Because <laughs> the Democrat Party doesn't want to be the anti-God party, at least publicly. So, they take another vote, even though it was very clear. It was overwhelming majority. Don't want God referenced in their party platform. They took a second vote. It was still two third no's and they showed the camera they're viewing the camera on the people and you can see people just like with their hands up saying no they're screaming and it was clear two third no's one third yes and they said oh it's it's resolved god's back in the platform you can clearly see the delegates they don't want god reference in the party this is your democrat party today folks they don't want god they don't want references of him in their platform. They're not interested. And this is the party that me as a Christian, I'm going to be registered, affiliated with? It can't make sense. It doesn't make sense, y'all. It just doesn't add up. That's all, all I want to say about it. I'm just going to leave the comments up to you guys. Let me know if you're a Christian and you're watching this video and you're a registered Democrat. How do you... How can you be a Christian and also registered to the Democrat Party, therefore aligned with the party platform? How does that align with your Christian values and principles, which you read in the Holy Scriptures? Please let me know. Respectfully, of course. And that's all I got to say. Go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out.